How many hours have you spent going down a rabbit hole on YouTube? Is this real life? Pick your poison. Cat videos. Makeup tutorials. Y'all believe the earth is a circle. Flat earth conspiracy theories. But if politics is your poison, you could be pulled toward more extreme content. The man in the video calling for 30,000 executions is Jair Bolsonaro, a fringe far-right politician who last year became the president of Brazil in an election that almost no one had thought was possible. And when we asked Brazilians how this could happen, there was one factor we kept hearing. YouTube. In the last couple of years, we've reported on how social media has disrupted societies around the world. In Myanmar, Sri Lanka, Germany, and now Brazil. What we found is the extraordinary influence of YouTube on everyday Brazilian life. The artificial intelligence the company uses to entice people into watching more and more YouTube videos has affected things here in surprising, even disturbing ways. Brazil is in a period of upheaval. A deep recession, a massive corruption scandal, and a decade of leftist rule created an opening for an anti-establishment firebrand to win the presidency. Today, Jair Bolsonaro's supporters are celebrating his success and the imprisonment of one of his leftist predecessors. Mateus is a 17-year-old high school student who was turned on to politics when YouTube recommended a video that would come to change his life. No começo, o Nando Moura fazia vídeos ensinando música de guitarra. Comecei a seguir ele pela música e acabei assistindo os vídeos de política. A escola brasileira hoje é uma fábrica de produzir putas, traficantes e bandidos. E é por isso que os moleques estão completamente viciados em pornografia. Nando Mora is one of Brazil's biggest right-wing YouTube stars. He started simply, giving tips on how to play the guitar. But once he began ranting about conspiracies involving teachers, feminists, and mainstream politicians, his popularity soared. <laughs> He now has more than 3 million subscribers. E ele despertou uma coragem. Quando você desperta a coragem e um povo, principalmente como povo brasileiro, não tem como voltar atrás depois. Por isso. Members of the far right repeatedly told us that their political awakening began with a video recommendation from YouTube. Essa indicação do próprio YouTube fundamental a partir do momento que você é novo, tomando conhecimento daquele movimento, daquelas ideias, você não sabe chegar até o canal de forma autônoma. É preciso que o próprio YouTube indique é, é, canais similares e páginas similares para que você tome conhecimento. Both Mauricio and Mateus described watching one YouTube recommended video after another leading them to videos that promoted long-shot presidential candidate Jair Bolsonaro. 
For decades, Bolsonaro had been a marginal lawmaker, shunned for his extremist views. Mocking gay people, opposing women's rights, embracing torture, and hyper-aggressive policing. But as YouTube increased in popularity, an army of its right-wing personalities began to adopt and amplify Bolsonaro's views. Eu resolvi criar o meu próprio movimento, que é Unidos da Direita e Juntos por um Brasil Melhor. Nossa rede social <laughs> da direita aqui do Brasil é o YouTube. To understand how politics in Brazil works these days, you don't go to the state capital. Fala, galera, beleza? Tudo bom? Falei com Fernando Holle aqui no sofá. You come to a place like this, a makeshift studio in Sao Paulo. This is ground zero for Movimento Brasil Livre, or the Free Brazil Movement, a powerful political machine that young conservatives have built up through online tools, especially YouTube. They churn out as many as 30 videos a week, attracting millions of views. Kim Kategori founded MBO. You guys have had a lot of success. What is it about YouTube that has worked so well for your message? It's not about the content of what we are doing that goes viral. It's the way we show our content. First thing, you need to look at all the news websites and see what is interesting about politics that your public want to know about. A grande maioria das pesquisas feitas sobre o assunto mostram que as mulheres ganham 20% menos do que os homens. Second thing, what do you believe about this news? É uma análise superficial e mentirosa. And the third, what makes it spread across the internet, you make a joke about it. Ai, mas as mulheres só cuidam dos filhos porque elas são brincadas para a sociedade machista, opressora e patriarcal. No. Fala pessoal, tudo bem? But creating viral videos wasn't MBL's only goal. Será o começo do livramento da maior praga que este país já viveu. They use outrage, sometimes misinformation, to recruit supporters, and eventually called them to the streets to join other activist groups in protests demanding the impeachment of the leftist president, Joe Marusa. A slate of MBL YouTube stars eventually capitalized on their YouTube fame to win their own races for public office. At 22, Kataguiri became the youngest congressman ever elected in Brazil. Do you think that you would be here without YouTube? I don't think so. Why not? I don't think so. Because we would have no platform to speak what we believe in. But YouTube doesn't just provide a platform. Its artificial intelligence amplifies sensational content sometimes with terrible consequences. Fala galera, beleza? Eu Arthur do canal Mamãe Falei. Como vocês podem perceber, esse vídeo aqui eu deixei ele um pouquinho mais comprido, deixei ele num formato mais para YouTube mesmo. This is Arthur Moledo Doval, a former scrap metal worker who became one of MBL's most watched YouTubers. When he started recording himself disrupting left-wing protests. It's an outlandish tactic that's been wildly successful. No meu caso, que chamou essas pessoas para assistirem aos meus vídeos, com certeza foi a violência. E a partir dessa dessa forma de se entreter, ela, oh, mas esse cara não tá fazendo isso só pela ação. Ele está fazendo isso para passar uma mensagem. Qual que é a mensagem que ele quer passar? E aí, a partir disso, você tem um gatilho para que as pessoas assistam os outros vídeos meus em casa. Doval's channel, Mama e Falei, has 2.5 million subscribers. Nenhum deputado de vagabundo. And last fall, he was elected to public office. But there's a reason why his videos are often heavily promoted by YouTube's recommendation system. Have you ever noticed that your searches on YouTube often wind up suggesting provocative content? Videos that entice you to watch more and more? 
This is what social media researchers call the rabbit hole effect. Maybe we just look for Nanda Moore. So let's see what it... Oh wow, so the up next anti-feminista... Oh, and here's our, our pal, Mama Fale Arturo. Oh um, my god, it's two steps away from Bolsonaro video. Here's how this works. The suggestions in the sidebar are chosen by a mathematical algorithm, which selects videos based on the habits of millions of users. This drives 70% of what's seen on YouTube, which means it influences almost everything you watch on the platform. What we saw across all social media was just a deeper and deeper commitment to stickiness, time on platform, the idea that you would just get people to really obsessively go there. Dana Boyd studies YouTube and how the site has evolved. All of it becomes about optimizing for financial profit. To maximize advertising revenue, YouTube is constantly improving its recommendation engine. In 2016, they switched to an artificial intelligence algorithm that has one central purpose, keep viewers watching as long as possible. They started pursuing this goal of watch time. Did you as a researcher start seeing changes in the platform and what was on there? The problem with a measurement of time on site is that what gets amplified is that which is shocking, grotesque, sexualized, things that you know make you doubt or make you angry or make you afraid. That's the content that captures people's imagination always. Recent searches on YouTube turning up bogus claims. YouTube promoted a video saying Hogg was a paid actor. The bizarre conspiracy theory known as Pizzagate. The false story. YouTube has been criticized in the U.S. for promoting conspiracy theories. And in Brazil, where YouTube has more viewers than almost every TV network, misinformation has caused widespread confusion about serious matters of public health. When the Zika virus hit poor communities like Maceo, mothers were desperate to understand what had happened to their babies. When they searched YouTube for information, they found wild conspiracies that blamed vaccines and even the insecticides designed to prevent Zika's spread. Mothers like Gisele Angela were left confused. Pessoal, eu queria compartilhar com vocês uma informação que eu recebi. Mas eles diziam que era enfermeiro, que foram as vacinas vencidas, que as pessoas tomaram e as crianças nasceram assim. O, o governo ele está fazendo um, uma baita malandrice com as pessoas. Que na verdade eu fiquei até com medo de dar vacina. Minha filha de tomar mais vacina depois disso. Aí eu fiquei com medo. Inclusive eu também não tomei a vacina. Olha que linda, meu amor. Que linda. Terrified, many families in Brazil are avoiding vaccines and anti-Zika insecticides. Health workers told us that this could be driving a resurgence in measles and yellow fever and lead to further outbreaks of Zika. But the Zika case is just one of many conspiracies that have been allowed to spread on YouTube. Viral videos have incited panic and put Brazilians in danger often to the political benefit of those seeking power. E eu não sou famosa de nada, eu nunca eu nunca quis ser reconhecida, eu nunca quis Valeria Borges has been a high school history teacher for 31 years, a profession she cherished until one day she was thrust into a YouTube conspiracy. Eu me lembro que eu estava dando aulas sobre a ascensão do nazismo. Eu falando da perseguição aos judeus, da perseguição aos homossexuais, perseguição aos povos romani. E um aluno LGBT falou que era parecido com o que os seguidores de Bolsonaro e eu falei que 
Falei que tinha uma parte que não era assim, mas existia uma parte que era assim. Por volta de umas 5, 6 horas da tarde, começou um monte de aluno vir falar comigo no Facebook. Professora, você foi gravada, você tá... me mandar o som. Carlos Jordi posted the video. At the time, he was a city councilor. Convinced that teachers were brainwashing school children into communism or homosexuality, he sought proof by encouraging students to film their teachers. Alguns militantes travestidos de professores acabam fazendo verdadeiros estupros ideológicos de vulneráveis. Pessoas que não têm a sua capacidade uh, mental, sua, sua personalidade formada. Jordi's hero, Jair Bolsonaro, had first pushed this indoctrination conspiracy in 2012 on YouTube. É a volta do kit gay nas escolas, onde milhões de crianças estarão sendo estimuladas a serem homossexuais. Assista! Back then, his claims were largely dismissed as ridiculous. Agora você vai saber onde está a raiz do câncer que comeu o cérebro do seu filho. But five years later, in 2017, a network of influential YouTubers resurrected the conspiracy. The videos were boosted again and again by YouTube's recommendation system, igniting a nationwide panic among parents and propelling others like Jordi to higher office. O deputado federal mais votado da história da cidade de Niterói. Então nós fizemos realmente aquilo para chocar. E eu queria realmente que ela ficasse acuada. Eu queria que ela sentisse medo do que ela estava fazendo. Eles tentaram, de todas as formas, destruir minha imagem como professora. After the video was posted, Valeria was inundated with online abuse and threats. These teachers were besieged by death threats. Many of them were very afraid for their lives and their families. Is this something that you thought could happen or something that you even wanted to happen? Eu acho isso daí um exagero da parte dela, falar que ela foi ameaçada de morte. Ela não foi nada. E se alguém falou alguma coisa ali na internet, ah, pô, eu vou te matar. Pô, aquela coisa de, de internet, ninguém ameaçou ela, não. Mas, realmente, eu não me, não me arrependo. There is a pattern here. And they want to spread out the fear and the terror. Deborah Denise is a prominent abortion rights activist from Brazil. She now lives in hiding in the U.S. I started to receive threats Most of them, they describe the way that they will kill me, that they will rape me, that they will kill my husband. Step by step, what they will do before I die. One of the guys that we were able to identify, when the police asked him, why are you doing that? Why are you threatening her? And he said, because I saw a video at YouTube. E o objetivo deste vídeo é fazer a senhora Débora Diniz conhecida. Vocês, feministas, abortistas, não representam o povo brasileiro. Então aqui, senhora Débora Diniz, nós estamos de olho. According to Diniz, the YouTube system of recommending one video after another created a cycle of intensifying outrage toward her. They start going in the loop. And that loop is what moves the fantasy to someone saying, I will do what has to be done. So does that make the company responsible for the death threats that have upended your life? Legally speaking, I cannot 
tell you that yes. But in an ethical perspective, in a democratic perspective, yes, any company has to be accountable for supporting hate speech. All right, so this is Susan. She is the CEO of YouTube. It is wonderful to have you. Yeah. YouTube has routinely answered critics by claiming that it's merely a passive provider of information. We're really more like a library. There have always been controversies if you look back at libraries. For the last two years, we have been really, really focused on, right. on responsibility. What all the, the news and the concerns and the stories have been about this fractional um, 1%. Look, if we took down that content, there would be so many other, so much other content that we would need to take down. YouTube repeatedly declined our requests for an on-camera interview. When we shared the results of our investigation, company officials acknowledged that its recommendations had helped spread misinformation about Zika, and they promised to make changes. But they also denied that YouTube boosts right-wing channels, or that the rabbit hole effect is even real. To test for the rabbit hole phenomenon in Brazil, researchers at Harvard conducted a computer automated study. They followed thousands of video recommendations, tracing something like a subway map for how the platform directs viewers. We followed basically the channels and the recommendations, and then we analyzed this to make sense of the universe that YouTube creates. The results were disturbing. Brazilians were disproportionately recommended videos from the far right, pro Bolsonaro bloggers, and conspiracy theorists. The far right is much bigger in scope, more channels there uh, that are also much more often recommended than the same case for the left. But in studying YouTube's algorithm in Brazil, the researchers encountered something completely unexpected a revelation that had nothing to do with politics or misinformation. What we found was 40 to 50 channels that seemed to fall under the general topic of what we might call child exploitation, not a lot of clothing, and this was a community that YouTube's algorithm put together. It seemed like it started with, in the context of sex education. Describing their first time having sex, making gestures that are suggestive. And from there, YouTube's channel recommendation kind of like moved towards the sexually suggestive side. Sometimes the women were of age, mm -hmm. often they were not. So what you found was a network of videos that had been kind of collated together by the algorithm of really young kids that seemed to have been selected because they featured some sort of nudity or suggestive content. That's correct. So many people let their kids put content on social media and videos and things like that because they think, you know, my kid's not famous. I don't need to worry about who's going to see this because who would ever come looking for it? Which makes sense, except the thing that comes looking for it is the algorithm. And it doesn't know anything about this child, but it does know that there is something about this video that'll get people to click. All of them are little kids, like six-year-old, five-year-old, something like that. And almost all of them are in some sort of a suggestive position. There's no nudity. They're not doing anything sexual. Usually they just seem to be part of these ordinary channels. And it's just horrifying to think of these kids who's, you know, they probably have no idea, their families probably have no idea that this company has taken their content and served it to people for their, like, sexual gratification, basically. The way the videos were grouped together certainly seemed like evidence of the rabbit hole effect in action. Once we alerted YouTube to the problem, the algorithm stopped recommending some of these videos alongside one another. The company suggested the changes were probably due to routine system tweaks, which makes us wonder, is it possible to fix a problem that you claim doesn't exist? Since his election, 
Bolsonaro and the far right have turned their YouTube-boosted worldview into official government policy. And as YouTube's reach continues to expand, so will its influence, and not just in Brazil. Mm-hmm.